And joining us now is George Sparks, who's the national chair of the National Catholic Committee on Scouting. Thank you so much for being with us, George. Well, thank you for having me. Uh, maybe if you could start by telling us a little bit about some of the duties uh, that you have as the national chair. Well, as the national chair, I give leadership to the numerous volunteers we have involved in a variety of activities and programs that the National Catholic Committee uh, puts on. And uh, just as an example, we have the St. George Trek, and that involves reaching out to the dioceses throughout the country to invite scouts uh, uh, and uh, young ladies in the venturing program to take this trek at our High Adventure Camp, Philmont, uh, where, where they can seek out their calling in life. Uh, that's just one of the activities. We have a number of programs and activities, religious emblems that the scouts can earn from the time they're Cub Scouts all the way through uh, to the venturing program up through age 20, uh, which helps them to grow in their faith, deepen their knowledge uh, of our Catholic faith. And then there are things like the uh, footsteps of the saints where they study, scouts can study a particular saint, learn about that saint, and then uh, they get a, a small patch uh, of that saint as a recognition for their involvement. And that's just a touchstone on the kinds of things that are done uh, to provide scouting uh, with a Catholic emphasis uh, throughout the dioceses. That, that trek sounds pretty impressive. Do you, do you find a lot of people that actually volunteer will do it again? Well, we, the scouts can only do it once. The youth can only do it once, although many of them would like to come back. It's done every other year. Okay. And, uh, but we try to limit it uh, for the youth to one experience. Uh, but we do have adults, priests, uh, seminarians, uh, and two, uh, as we call them, walking, hiking nuns who work with the female crews and the seminarians and the priests work with the male crews and uh, the crews uh, eight to ten young people and they'll hike about 85 miles over 12 days in the mountains of New Mexico uh, and and we really really do get a very positive response they had I think over 80 uh, young people this past summer uh, take the trek. Now talk about the importance of, of having a Catholic presence in scouting and, and to be there uh, for the scouts as they develop in their lives? Well, we, we describe scouting as being youth ministry. It is a form of youth ministry. And it's an important element, particularly for the older scouts who may not be uh, going to Catholic schools. They're in public high schools and so on. And this may be part of the catechesis that they receive. Uh, and and a, a scout meeting should have elements of the Catholic faith in it. They should open with a prayer. They should close with a prayer. They may even have 10 or 15 minutes in the program in which they can work on the footsteps of the saints, or they can do some study on the religious emblem uh, uh, that they're working on. Um, the scouting program is designed for the chartered organization to own the unit, and they should use it to meet their objectives uh, and in the case of a Catholic parish, they own that unit. It's their unit, and uh, the programs should inculcate uh, elements of the Catholic Church in teaching young people uh, their faith as well as service in the community. And you, you've been involved in scouting now for, for, for many years? Were you, were you a scout yourself? I was a scout, joined uh, uh, when I became old enough. I've been, been registered for 58 years, Wow! Uh -huh. and I spent 31 years in the professional service of scouting. Talk about the experience, uh, the personal for you, uh, what it's been like for you to be involved in scouting all these years and now to be, uh, you know, national uh, chair. Well, it, it, scouting, my father died when I was six years old, and so scouting provided me with a lot of surrogate fathers. Uh, and, and I didn't realize that until I became an adult and then saw uh, the kind of interaction that adult leaders have and priests who are involved with the unit have uh, with the scouts. Uh, and I had a good relationship with a number of priests who worked with our scout unit and had been scouts themselves. Uh, it's interesting, when I retired from the Boy Scouts uh, in uh, April of 2011, I wasn't retired a month. I was served for 10 years as the staff advisor for the Boy Scouts of America to the National Catholic Committee on Scouting. 
and I wasn't retired a month when they came back to me and recruited me to be membership chairman and then from there to become the national chair. Uh, and I was not expecting that at all, but uh, I'm greatly pleased and it uh, is a, a wonderful way to spend retiring years. Thank you so much, uh, George, for being with us. If you had to uh, put out a plug for the Boy Scouts, any uh, family members or parents, uh, what would you say to them to get their kids involved in Scout? There are so many influences which are not positive in young people's lives today. And, and scouting is a positive influence, particularly Catholic scouting. And it's important that, that young people uh, are able to be involved in a program which helps them understand uh, how to fulfill their duty to God, uh, to themselves, to others, to the community, uh, which scouting does a tremendous job of. Well, thank you so much, George, for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank you.